Todd, we know that these days creating content is very important. And I believe you posted a video recently that you yourself are not creating enough content. And I believe you are creating enough, but still content is being created. So what can you say to top seekers who are introverts or who are new to this content creation and they don't know what to do? What can tips you have for them? Yeah, I, you know, I, I'm a big believer in casting a wide net. Um, so the first thing, uh, that I believe people need to get over is, is when we talk about content, content doesn't necessarily have to be you in front of a camera. Um, I, a lot of my friends, um, that have very successful social media accounts, very rarely even tell us have their name, right? I mean, there's just so many different ways we can share content nowadays. One of my, one of my good friends, um, he, he is a, a restaurant manager. Mm -hmm. But he's got, this guy's got about 600,000 followers on Instagram, um, an insane amount of Twitter followers. And really all this guy does is he, he tweets jokes <laughs> on Twitter, restaurant jokes, and then screenshots them and reposts them on Instagram. But his consistency mm. is so on point that it just picked up steam and he knew who his target audience was. Yes. But he never shows his face, very, very rarely. Very, the, 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 the extent of his content is a screenshot of a, a tweet mm -hmm. and, it, and, it, and it caught fire. So I guess when I, when I talk about creating content, it, the type of content that I create, there is a lot that goes into it, right? But that's the way that I wanted it to be. I wanted, you know, the one where my jacket's opening up and, my, and there's a video inside my jacket. Like, these are things that pop in my head and I tell my designer, I'm like, this popped into my head. I said, I want to, let's create this. Mm -hmm. Just, and I don't have 660,000 followers, but, but this guy does, right? And his are just screenshots of tweets. So I think a lot of the time it's the quality of the content. The, do we know who our proper audience is that we're trying to target? And then um, the consistency of the content. That's where people break down. They're either A, they're not testing all the different platforms, putting their content on all the different platforms and seeing which ones are working the best. Um, and then at the same time, they're overthinking the content. Yeah. So like this guy, and this is where I want you guys to really think about this. This guy screenshots his tweets and posts them on Instagram. Any of us can do that. Yeah. Right. But there's a million apps out there that you guys can use that um, are really, really fun and cool. And I share a lot of that stuff. So like for Instagram stories, right? Like there's a, there's a great mobile application called Mojo. It's a mm -hmm. great app, especially if you're not, and all these I'm going to, uh, I'm going to share with you are, are for people that are not uh, art and or tech savvy. This is something that we can all do. So Mojo is a really, really good app. Uh, Design Lab is a really, really good app. These two apps are great for Instagram stories. Another great mobile application, if you want to create video content, kind of like what we're doing here, and um, you know, add progress bars and subtitling, very easy autom automated subtitling and um, uh, proper canvas for where we want to post those pieces mm -hmm. of content. Uh, there's an app called Veemly. B-E-M-E dot L-Y. It's an excellent mobile application. Um, we use it quite a bit. We actually were doing a lot of stuff through Adobe and, um, and we've kind of moved over and used this mobile application. It's a great app. Um, and even TikTok. TikTok's a great mobile application to create really different pieces of content that you can redistribute on uh, other platforms and um, it can really be almost like a pattern disruption, right? Like, oh wow, I've never seen that on Instagram before and it's because you've used another social media platform to create content for a different platform. And I think sometimes that's the trick. And is that's it, the trick to setting yourself apart. But and it it's just about the more content you put out, the more awareness you're going to get behind it. If you don't do anything, you're not going to get anything. Yeah, for sure. And do you think that everyone should be on the big four platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or they should choose and play around? I think they should be on all the platforms period, um, and as many platforms as they can possibly be on. And the only reason I say that is this, is that if, you, if you're not on every platform or you're not posting something on every single platform, you're missing the availability of creating free audience. So think about it this way. If you have money and you want to create awareness around your brand, and let's remove social media from the, the equation, the only other ways that you're going to be able to create awareness is going to be through print, through someone else contacting you, right? 
and redistributing information about you, TV, radio, or let's say from an omni-channel exterior in the world presence, like a billboard or a sign. Yes. That all costs money. Mm -hmm. Social media is free. Yeah. So you have the ability to create all these different kinds of content. Now, if you talk to some people, if you know that, and by the way, let me, let me just say one thing. The world now is kind of caught up, right? So you can't really say Facebook's for old people anymore because there's old and young people there. You can't say TikTok's for young people anymore because the age demographics are con consistently growing. Same with Instagram, same with mm -hmm. you know, Twitter, all of it, right? So somebody might be like massively like uh, super into Twitter and they might be looking for someone that's putting out your type of content, but you're only putting out your type of content on Instagram that person is never going to know about you. Mm -hmm. So if that person sees your tweet and then goes, Hey, follow me on Instagram. And then you go follow them on Instagram. I think it's a great way to create a bigger audience. And that's what I did. I mean, that's how the growth really truly happened. Mm -hmm. I just kept posting on all these different platforms and driving it all back to Instagram because that's the one that I enjoy the most. Yeah. And that's how that audience grew. Yeah. Um, I will tell you, I could probably do a better job of, uh, cross posting saying, go follow me on Twitter, go follow me here, things of that nature. And, and it's something that I plan on working on, but that's how I grew my accounts was just by posting everywhere. And I believe your Instagram account is stands out with all the images and the pictures. I just want to say to whoever is listening, follow Todd's Instagram account. You will be inspired to do better and all those images that you create and your team creates. And again, thank you for sharing that. And again, for the audience, if you have any other tips in terms of creating content, please leave it in the comment section down. Like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Todd.